couple of months ago, I replaced our entire CCTV system across the property. And since then, I've been tweaking and testing different settings to find out what works best for me in our particular scenario. So I wanted to share some of those tips with you on a few videos. This one is about noise reduction. Now, usually with an IP-based system, modern cameras, there are two types of noise reduction. There are two, you have 2D noise reduction and you have 3D noise reduction. Now, this video is not gonna go into how they technically work and what they technically do. I am just personally going to talk about what I've found and what works best for me. Sometimes in testing of cameras, and one big problem that existed on the Rio Link cameras that I was using in the past is that at night time and in low light, when noise reduction was obviously coming into play, there was huge, a huge amount of ghosting in the image. You will see things move across the screen and they will just leave this huge trail behind, almost like just a big smear across the screen. And I've seen that in a lot of testing of, for example, Uniview systems as well. Now that's caused by one of two things in my experience. Firstly, possibly because you're using a variable bit rate. Constant bit rate will reduce that, but mainly noise reduction. So my tip for you and what has worked for me is reduce noise reduction to the absolute minimum. Then go into the camera and this has to, on my system, be done in the actual camera because the NVR itself, so the network video recorder interface, which effectively all that does is on most IP systems now is just kind of mirror the settings you put in there into the relevant IP cameras. That only has one slider for noise reduction. I have to actually go onto the camera itself, the IP address of the camera, and change. then I have two options, one for 2D noise reduction, one for 3D noise reduction. So drop them both to zero, wait until it's dark so you can actually see what you're doing, and then bump up 3D noise reduction so it's at an acceptable level. And it doesn't have to be complete, completely clean. I would say, you know, go with, I think, I think my setting, although the default is 128, whatever that is, it's going to be different on every system. I appreciate that. But I think I've gone with around about 60, maybe 80 at the maximum. So an, an acceptable level is a little bit of grain. There's no problem having a little bit of noise in there. It will then take up more uh, it's harder to compress grainy, noisy image and, and a grainy, noisy image. So you'll then have to compensate for that with your encoding settings. You'll have to give the uh, stream enough bits to be able to cope with that grainy image. Grain, film grain, anything like that is notoriously difficult to compress uh, without sort of smearing the image and stuff. So yeah, you'll have to make sure you've got a, a bit rate, a good bit rate on your stream and then just bring the noise reduction up up so you kind of get an image that has maybe just a bit of grain in it, not much, and stick stick with that. Uh, 2D noise reduction is at zero. My 3D noise reduction is around about 60 to 80. Again, I say it depends on your setting, but that would be my starting point. Drop them both to zero and then bump up to 3D until you get something you're happy with.